Hey everybody, it's Tamika, and I'm here to host a swap, my first swap of 2015, yay! Uh, things are getting a little bit settled here, so I am able to host a small, quick and easy swap. Um, so super excited for that. So, as you could tell, this is a gift packaging swap. It's gonna be super fun and easy. So, um, first I'm gonna go over some of the rules, and then we'll get right into some examples. All of the information that I say here on the video will be on my blog and the link to my blog will be in the description box below. So please, please head over there to get um, things that I didn't say in the video and just um, a more detailed um, written out version of the video. Then you can come back here if you are um, wanting to participate and leave a comment below. So once I confirm your spot, then you want to check the blog on March 1st and see what group you're in. So for this swap only, um, well for this swap, it's gonna be US only. There was a um, couple missing packages from the out of country swap, so I really just want this one to be a quick and easy, simple um, process swap. So it's just gonna be US only, so sorry, I apologize in advance, but yeah, US only. And then, um, so yeah, once I confirm your spot and you check the blog uh, tomorrow, Sunday, for um, the update on the groups, okay? So um, what you'll need, what the group will consist of, like I said, is a, is a gift packaging swap. There will be six um, groups of five people, so 30 spots will be open, plus a um, five-person angel swap list. So I do call on the angels, so you guys just be prepared. And um, just on a side note, an angel is a person um, that fills the spot of someone who can no longer continue or who hasn't responded to any of my update emails. Um, so I think that they dropped. So you will fill that spot and you will get exactly what that person would have gotten. So it's not just you sending supplies and you get nothing in return. You'll get exactly what that person that you're filling in for will get. So it's like you signed up originally. Okay, so that's an angel swap. I get that question all the time. So you're not cheated in any way. So um, please, if you miss the signups, then leave your name down. Uh, I'll put the first five people down for angels if you want me to. Okay, so let's, the, the idea of the swap is to have completed sets, five, five, well, if you make one for yourself, then you'll, you'll have five, but if you don't make one, then you'll have four in your group. So you have completed sets of um, gift packaging. So if you want to send out a rack or a thank you gift or give something, you'll have completed sets um, of them already. So this is one example, and this is the second example. So super fun. So this is what it'll look like. Okay, this is how the end result will be. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna show you what would be in your swap pocket swap packaging. So just think how fun that'll be if you already have these set and ready to go to send, you know, a small token of something to somebody. Okay. So this is super cute. I made this bag um, out of dollar store craft paper. Craft, um, paper. So the first item, please check below for all of this because this may just be all over the place. But the first thing that you um, would need to create for the swap is the packaging so whether you create your own bag and I just did this with um, craft rolls let me show you what I have this roll is from the Dollar Tree one dollar you can make a lot of craft bags with this so this swap can be really inexpensive you can get almost everything from the dollar store if you want to but use your goodies use your stuff you know put your foot into it I'm giving really simple examples because I know that some people complain that I give too many examples in the swap and it leaves them with like little ideas so I'm being as simple and um, just basic as possible but please please do your whole crafty thing with it y'all know what to do okay and then um, one second um, one second, no, sorry, one second. This I got from the Dollar Tree. Like I said, Craft Row already has pre-printed cute little designs on it. So if you want to kind of go with that, you can. Also, they have solid rolls in just the craft paper. This is in like the shipping section. You make your own bag. And then if you saw my recent haul, Target has these polka dot ones. And they also have striped turquoise, a couple of different um, designs they have. So you can use that. <clears throat> also at the Dollar Tree they have these cute little bags which is what I did with this one um, they were three for a dollar so essentially you can get two of these and then you're you know you have your base already set all I did was cut off the handles and then open it up 
and then take the handle the little wood twine out of that too so super cute you can use your pinking shears and make it all cute a cute cute bag so those are some options for your base um, and just if you're curious how I made this crinkle you can score it that way but I use my Fiskars um, crimper to do that it makes the bags really cute so that's what I did with that so you'll need to have a favor bag um, or a gift bag like I said one of these or pay a uh, celebrated Michael's bag you just have to have a base of what you want the person to the recipient to put their goodie in and then let's try to keep the bags somewhere between four by six to six by six this is a four by six bag and this is a five and a half by five and a half bag so it's like the perfect size for shipping because we want the shipping to stay within our priority box and stuff like that so to be really easy so this is four by six and this is five and a half by five and a half so let's try to keep the bag four by six to six by six so that's the first thing you need to make for the swap this swap is not it's, it's going to be really, it's a lot of things, but it's really easy. It's not going to be difficult. So um, you want to make um, your bag. Okay. So I've completed some of the ones and what they look like. So if I was sending a swap package, and again, I'm not, I, this would not be how I would send it. I need to add my name and stuff and package this up really cute. But just so you can know, you know, what an ex a basic vague example would look like. So if I were doing this bag or similar to this bag, in your swap, you need the favor bag. That's the first thing. The second thing you need to create is a 3x3 note card and an envelope. This is a basic one. It needs to have pattern paper or some form of background. This I just actually used um, embossing. You just don't want a plain basic one cardstock card. So if you use pattern paper, you do some designs or whatever you do on it, really you know put your foot into it obviously you just need pattern paper background or in one element so I use some banners I use some bling and I put a flower on top still a small profile and then you want an envelope so we got our favor bag we have a 3 by 3 note card and envelope you would need um, some finishing trim so whether you use um, this kind of trim or you use um, twine like I did on this one or you use um, lace this comes from Walmart it's a dollar however you want the recipients closure piece to be just a little decorative element you want to include that and it has to be at least 18 inches okay and then you will want a finishing piece this happens to be a charm that um, Cheryl made in one of our swaps Jimzel but this would be super cute to finish off my bag. See, it's a super cute charm. Now, where's my bag at? So here's my bag. Super cute, right? If I tie my little twine around there, really cute. So you'll need a finishing piece. Now this could be a charm, a bottle cap, a domino, a flower, some um, a resin piece, buttons, decorated. I mean, possibilities are endless. So this is what we have. And then you, in my particular bag, I had some tissue paper, some coordinating tissue paper again from the Dollar Tree. So I would want to include that. You don't have to, but that's just what I had on mine. And then finally, you'll need a shaped tag, any, any kind of tag. This one, and you want it proportion to your envelope. This one I had, I cut out a Tim Holtz um, bird from the bird cage die. You don't want this to show, obviously, but they can put two from on the back when they're given their packaging right be super cute okay so that would be all um, that you need for the swap here's another example it's really quick I'll package it up in some tissue paper so if this were your swap you have your favor bag and inside because this is what this one is so I have my favor bag and then this one happened to have a doily it's not necessary it's just what I use to decorate my bag so that's in there but you have your favor bag you have your um, 3 by 3 note card see pattern paper and an embellishment and the envelope and then you have your twine I use twine and then my finishing piece for this one happens to be a flower it's my flower and then my tag and then I just cut out another bird piece so that would be this is how that would look just slimmer to it all right so um, just to recap, 
for your swap if you were doing um, well if you're doing a swap you would need your favorite bag and you want four by six to six by six you would need a three by three note card one piece of pattern paper at least and an embellishment with a envelope you would need coordinating twine ribbon jute lace a finishing piece to go on your bag it could be resin flower bottle cap domino charm whatever and then a tag so these are the only things you would need to finish your swap it's five things this goes with the envelopes too so tag finishing piece ribbon note card envelope favor bag hope y'all got all of that and I hope there wasn't too many examples and I just have this doily piece in there because I finished my bag with a doily and that's that example so yeah I think um, this is this one I think this will be a fun swap there's my favorite bag I added the tissue paper my note card with an envelope my lace and trim my finishing piece and my tag and that will complete somebody receiving a favor bag it will complete everything they would need in their bag of course you want everything to coordinate so if you have any questions feel free to leave them below um, and check the blog for details written details of everything that I've said in the video that should answer the majority of your questions and sign up if you're interested um, the swap will run from March 1st to March 31st have to be post dated by March 31st and then um, for PayPal and stuff information that'll be on my blog for shipping um, your swaps back so thanks guys for watching bye